Did you know that for the average Roblox player, they only play for about two and a half hours a day? So let's go and get this realistic noob pro for World Zero underway. Hey, little Belubbians and Assist Grid here. Hopefully you're having a great day. I'm having a great day. We're back today in World Zero because I am going to be doing the start of the Realistic Noob to Pro for World Zero today. Uh, they have a special event this weekend I kind of want to take advantage of, as should any player that is playing. And it's an event we actually have quite commonly. They usually have it at least once a month, sometimes once every other month. So if you have not already, please make sure you smash, 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 love the like button, do the same subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. So... Uh, I'm going to pick Arcane Mage, and we're going to kind of talk about how this is going to work while I'm doing character creation. So, if y'all were not aware, as I stated in our lovely intro sequence, that most Roblox players only get to play for about two and a half hours a day. So, how this kind of works is every session I will only have two and a half hours in order to complete it. So, that means I will have to pretty much hustle, use my knowledge of the game that I have, be able to optimize playing and just kind of showing y'all some tips and tricks along the way some other things i will not be able to use any robux that forehead i love it so no robux no trading no getting help i'm using an alt account so if you're not aware of who this is this is a tag blame john character so y'all are more than welcome to come and check him out but once i select my lovely pet for this lovely noob to pro we have to keep going so i went ahead and picked arcane mage to start and that is because Arcane Mage is able to move and attack at the same time, which for most players is super, super helpful. And it allows me to do a lot more. So the reason I wanted to play right now is we have a double XP weekend, so that's going to help in the first little bit. Now, this noob to pro, I am going to go all the way to max level prestige at level 100. Let's go ahead and turn up the graphics because that's why you all want to see. You want to see all the pretty buttons. Let's go. And let's turn all this off. Camera shake needs to be turned off or dual request enable authorization. I want that and show my own health bar. So how this is going to work is I will have two and a half hour sessions. And as I play through the game, I'm going to go try to do what I can in that two and a half hours. There will be a timer. I will not stop the recording. Unlike if you've watched my weapon fighting sim, realistic noob to pro. Uh, I periodically would just kind of grind and then bring y'all back. No, this entire session will be kept on, which means these videos are going to be significantly longer, probably upwards to 40 minutes, 50 minutes, depends on how long the session is. Now, if it's just something I'm just grinding and there's nothing really big, I'm not going to really bring y'all back because that's kind of a waste of y'all's time. But during this, I'm going to be doing my best to kind of grind, go through stuff, explain things as I go, and you'll kind of see how it goes. If you've watched my weapon fighting sim stuff, y'all already know this. I'm literally trying to re-explain something I started like four months ago, and I'm like, um. So everyone who joins World Zero, you do have to go through this lovely little tutorial. So as you work through it, this is the first dungeon in the game. And you're just going to kind of basically wander on through it. It's nothing too too serious. Uh, nothing too difficult either. Um, the pet that you start with kind of really doesn't matter. I always pick Fox because every single pet in the game has a further evolution. So when this becomes a legendary evolution or max level, uh, it'll have healing possibly or do damage. So I'm not really looking at like a permanent pet until we hit world four or five so i do have a track i'm probably going to take with this and this is just for level grinding and i won't be playing as every single class during the playthrough so i will have a certain one i want to play as and that's just a personal preference i always get asked all the time what class is better there are classes that are around the time are meta and that's not like if someone plays a range class but they're horrible at it it's it's no good so it's better if you play the class that you like to play. So I just stink at Dual Wielder and Berserker and several of the other classes other than Summoner. And so I already know that. I may play a Summoner for a little bit with y'all just to kind of show y'all. But yeah, I'm probably going to be going Arcane Mage, Elementalist, Spirit Archer, and then Summoner whenever I get that option. As y'all can see, this is kind of broken. 
I'm also going to be spending, at least for the first couple sessions, I'm going to be spending a little bit of time grinding the dire boar wolves. The reason for this is, if you are not aware, if we go into the quest section once we get out of this dungeon, which, by the way, when you start the game now, you automatically get two legendaries. That's kind of broken. Oh, I don't get that, because we have no Robux. So at least, or will I get one? All right, uh, return to town alone. Now, if you are currently playing with the current update, try and go do the Fallen King. That's going to give you a lot of experience. However, since um, that's not an event that's normally around a lot, I'm actually not going to use that. I can't use the boss. I can use the battle pass. I can use the weekly updates. I cannot use the other one, though. So we need boar wolves, elite boar wolves, and two cans. We will be getting some of these while we play through, in the, especially in the early areas. So I'm not going to even remotely stop for that. And kill these boar wolves real quick. Probably put the staff that I got on. Let's do that. Yeah, that's, that's the level 4 staff that's going to work for this for a while. Now, if you're not aware how this game works, there's always a left click, there's an E attack, there's a R attack. And then as you get to the later classes, there is actually a ultimate. And ultimates charge up in different ways. There's also abilities that can actually make that even better. So as we go through the game, I will be explaining stuff as we go through. So kind of a more casual playthrough. I am going to be keeping some of the gear that we acquire along the way. And this is because as you prestige which when you hit what is it level 115 i believe yeah at level 115 we're gonna be able to prestige that means i'm gonna be level one again at some point so i kind of want to keep some of my gear i'm not going to keep every single level i'll probably keep about every 10 to 15 and this is just to allow me to progress through the game faster now we didn't get anything good so i'm gonna go ahead and sell all this there is a way that you can upgrade this. Don't, I'm not going to upgrade anything until I'm like level probably, I don't know, probably 30, 30 is a good thing. So we did already get some perks on this wicked staff. So resist burn allows you to dodge the burn status, which that's not really going to come into effect during the first world. Uh, I do believe that is during the second world during the Sybaris fights. Life drain, of course, every time I attack, I'm going to be able to get 3% of that health back as I attack. And then opening strike is basically you get a critical chance, which there's criticals in this game. So opening strike just makes it a little bit easier in the start of combat. Uh, there is a cooldown timer on that. I'm not really sure to what extent that goes, but yeah. So we're going to feed these snakes. I'm going to follow along with the quest prompts right now. Uh, we really don't have a reason not to. There we go. Any one more? Alright, and that one is done. And we did get a new armor, which is good. Because we actually really didn't have armor. So, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do one, two. Let's go ahead and start. So the reason I'm going to allow myself to be able to get stuff from the battle pass is the following reason, guys. So the battle passes, there's usually always one active. There's maybe two or three weeks in like a month every few so often that they don't have an active battle pass. They have tons of battle passes normally active in this game. And the battle passes are going to drop me gear, which is kind of what I'm betting on is that we're going to be able to get some gear through this. Maybe some pet food to help level up the pets a little bit faster. So I'm also going to be doing my weekly quests, stuff like that, just so I can get some extra currency because the currency may allow me to go buy stuff, things like that. So one, two is a defense mode. You just basically need to kill everything. I'm going to let you know, unless you are just strictly AFK through this entire thing, it is incredibly easy, like ridiculously so. The other thing we're going to do when we leave here, actually after about an hour, I'll try to focus more on this. We do need to get these done. So the lovely dailies are going to give you XP. Those are really going to help you out a lot. 
So I really want to get those done. Um, I am probably going to be very diligent in getting a lot of recording done on this very close together and then spacing it out as I release it. So if there are moments that, you know, you're like, that that happened a while ago, that is because this is probably all going to be recorded in consecutive days. So again, because this is a newer series, I'm going to have a newer set of crowd. I am going to outline the fact that I cannot play within the same day. And what I mean by the same day, I mean the daily reset has to activate before I can play again. So that means I can't play pretty much for another 24 hours from now because the daily reset just happened. Just happened. So. And I probably will release an episode a week. I'm still kind of working on another noob to pro. And so, but we will see. We will see. Already level 10. This event is super, super OP. That's kind of one of the reasons I wanted to play because it would definitely help speed things along. Uh, I still am going to be following the track that I normally would for playing this. The one thing to note when you do prestige, those world quests that we have been working on and completing, those do reset. So once you have completed those, do keep that in mind. I probably need to use my other abilities that do more damage. That would probably be good. If you ever want to know what one of your abilities does, you can actually just hover over it. Like this. Or you can go to the class menu. And you can click on the class and it'll show you what it is. There is a little bit of discrepancies. There is some things that aren't actually up to date all the way. Just FYI. So. Shifted aggro. Yay. I'll see how much damage that does. Because right now we just want damage and we just want to get none. Alright. 9-2 is completed. We are up to level 10 already. That's kind of nuts. Okay. This wants us to defeat elite boar wolves. Can I not get to 1-3 yet? I can get to 1-3. 1-3 does have boar wolves in it. So we're actually just going to run this a few times to get going. This is 100 power, that does 45. So we're not actually getting that much of a big of a difference for me equipping that. And there it goes. So I'm actually going to start feeding my pets. So if you're unfamiliar with pets, they do level up after some time after you've had them. So there she goes. Let's go boop. One thing I love about Arcane Mage is you literally can run and gun type situation. Oop, I missed one. Now your pet will go around and auto pick up coins, foods, things like that for you. So let them do that. Always try to have a pet equipped. It, it's going to save you a lot of heartache. A lot of heartache. Now, for those of you that have been playing a game, Fallen King actually works really well for getting experience. Here's the problem. There's only ever two event bosses in this game, and that is the Halloween and that is the Christmas boss. They only appear for the second half of the year. Actually, I'll even say the second quarter. So honestly, using it for a noob to pro is not realistic because it's not around often enough. So say someone is watching this in February. Well, the boss is already gone. What are they supposed to do to level up? So I do want to try and give other ways to level up. Times 2 XP weekends, they have been occurring more frequently. They've been doing that, trying to, you know, help people get leveled up because we got new people, things like that. So All right, I'm going to go kill some elite boar wolves and I will bring y'all back. Also, one more thing. Make sure you hit the waystones that are throughout the town. If you do need a guide for them, I do have video guides for all the waystones on my main channel. So.
Alright, so what I was doing was attempting to kill a bunch of the boar wolves and stuff. So I, at the end of the episode, will be able to claim this. So this is going to keep scaling up for however long I'm leveling up. So that was one of the things I was doing right there, was trying to get this so that near the end of the episode, when I have the most experience, we can go ahead and claim that and get that. So, alright. Go ahead and sell all this. Again, I'm not upgrading anything because I don't need to right now. So we're about to go do some dungeons. Some dungeons. Trying to get that knocked down. Okay. Um, last one we have is Toucan, but that just is gear. But we still will do it because I want the extra gear buff. And I want the extra food so we can get our pets up. So on that one we can claim... Actually, we'll wait. I want to have the best one I can for that. So we're going to go ahead and go to our world quests. We're working on two cans and apparently crabs. But I'm pretty sure we can go do this one. Yep, we can go do one four. So we got crabs on the beach and we got crab rave done. Nice. We actually can go ahead and switch all this armor out, which is good. We are skedaddling very quickly through these levels. So the overall strat that I have for this playthrough is... I go through and I like completing the world quest, at least just getting the dungeons done. Uh, at that point, usually what I would recommend doing is going to 1-4 and just grinding Grave Tower over and over and over again. So if you get to the point where you've done your quests and you are still stuck, that's kind of what I do. So uh, At level 15, which we're now level 16 because we are just flying through this. And I bet you we're going to get the battle pass done here pretty soon. Um, we are going to be moving to Elementalist. Actually, no, won't let us equip it in the dungeon. That would be kind of be broken. Uh, oh. We're going to go Elementalist so that we can also get an ultimate unlocked. The ultimates are going to give us a ton of damage, and they're going to be really, really nice. So what's going to give you the most levels in the game is going to be elites, then quests, and then normal mobs. Uh, bosses actually don't give you that much. Uh, not many people know that. But yeah, they don't actually give you that much. Uh, for the time you have to spend killing them. Alright, there we go. Now let's go see what we get with the battle pass. Uh, just two cosmetics. Okay. I don't have premium. We may be able to get premium. Uh, depending on how long this Noob to Pro goes for. Because we should be able to get at least some of the items from here. Alright. Mr. Krabs. I need you to die. And we got a new staff. And we're level 18 already. Let's go. Uh, let's see if we got any new... So, Untouchable, what it is, is basically Untouchable gives you a dodge chance. And the higher this is, the better it is. I think the cap's like 20. So, this is Frost. Again, you're not going to be slowed by Frozen, but that's not until Ward 3, so it's a little while away. Then we have increased walk speed, so not bad. Not bad, not bad. Alright, and we got a Traveler's Coat, which is gives us a little bit more health. So armor is always going to give you health and basically Chris the weapons give you damage. So if you're wanting to know how that scales, how that works, that that is how that works.
So we can actually move on at level 15. You can move on to the next world. Um, however, what I'm going to do is finish unlocking this real quick. We're going to go do, what is it? We're going to go do the grave tower and then I'm going to go to the next world. And if we start stalling in the next world in world two, then I will go back and do more grave tower. So, but yeah, we need two cans for that and for our dailies. It'd be fairly easy. And we're done with that. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and go to... We finish feeding our pet real quick. Then we'll go on into our last dungeon. What we have to do for this area. And unfortunately, this is going to be ringing for a little bit. I can claim the toucan. Probably could have gotten better armor elsewhere, but oh well. I forgot to change glasses again. Oh well. We'll do that after this one. All right, it's done, and we got our first achievement. Nice. And we got torn level 21 armor. All right, return to town alone. We're at 40 minutes in. We're level 22. Yeah, 22. Not bad. I still have several unclaimed quests, so that's definitely also going to give us some experience when I start clicking that button. Still holding those dailies until we need them. I.e. the end of the session. So. Here we go. Okay. We're going to go ahead and go to world two. Yes. Hit level 20. Awesome. Actually, we're now at level 23. We did use the teleporter to go to the next world. Oh boy. We actually got another staff. 
Uh, Quidditch's Royal Cor Okay. First things first, I need to switch classes because we've been we have been hanging out as the other one a little too long. Right, let's go ahead and get rid of all this. Right now, I'm not worried about that. Later on, yes, we will start fussing about what we actually need, but I don't need that right now, so. Okay, let me go ahead and claim this real quick. Got a level 23 poopy staff. I don't want that. Ooh, we still got that. Oof. So, as you can see, when we switched over to Elementalist, if you haven't played the game before, uh, we have a bunch. A bunch of new spells. So, we have... A lot of these spells are close range, is one thing I've always harped about. Uh, so, we have Icicle Field, which is basically going to be a front little cone. And it's going to do some slow damage. We have Fireball, which is going to do a tick over time as long as it's an aoe that one does have a little bit of range and then we also have lightning strike which basically creates a lightning field in front of us and does a lot of damage so with this room literally you just need to stick to the walls and you should be fine as i say that and i get smacked in the face stick to the walls you will be fine uh it's not an overly difficult room um, as you can also see, um, our pet has started getting other abilities as it's ranking up. So as your pets rank up, they will be getting different abilities as they change to different rarities. And if you're wanting information on all of this, there is pet masters in each town that you can go up to and look at the index. So if you're wanting to see what your pet can turn into or its abilities, you can always go take a look at that. And you can look at every other pet that has been introduced into the game as well. So it's not just, you know, the ones you have currently unlocked or the eggs you've currently gotten. It does show you all of them. And I can show you all that when we get out of here. Uh, we can go to the next town. Um, I am going to go ahead and skip World 1's teleporters this episode. That is just strictly because I, I really want to take advantage of this times 2 XP. So at some point during this uh, lovely Noob to Pro series, I will go through and unlock them. So... I will do an indicator on the title screen or on the title. Uh, hey, this one has, you know, this, this, and this. So it's still indicating for that. Green goblins we're almost done with. Jeez. Okay. We're doing pretty good on some of these. Now this room you do need to be moving in. So would not recommend standing still. Uh, if you have a mount, that's even better. If you don't. Uh, at this point in the game, if you're not familiar with how to play, uh, these are your lives down here in your dungeon, which means I can die up to three times and not get kicked out. Now, this does decrease as we get into the rare difficulties and we get further along in the game. So, kind of keep that in mind that this the game does get harder and harder as you play early on. It is very, very easy. And overall, compared to some of the other RPG games I have played, Late game content is actually not too bad. We're going to go ahead and do our lovely ultimate, which is we're just going to bring down the bring down the pain on those guys. I mean, we already are nine levels above them, so to be expected. To be expected. And he's dead. Awesome. So we're going to go over here and take the crystal. And boom. We're done. Awesome. And go here and go claim our dungeon reward. Alrighty, so next thing is up on our lovely quests. Uh, Mama quit a deal. Go ahead and start. I don't even need to leave town for this one. Now, if you do fall down that pit, you do have to go fight some snakes that you get no experience for. So, I would not recommend falling down that pit. And we have another quest done. 
Get new armor. Go ahead and equip current stuff. There's a dog outside my office losing its mind. How dare you? How dare you? Oh, we have our first elite. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Elites are always what you want to see in a dungeon. They give so much experience. So it's just it's just a stupid amount. It's a stupid amount. Yeah, 16%. Yes, that is with the extra, you know, XP thing, but I mean that the boss only gave me five. So if we half that for the event, yeah, that's that's a lot. And we got another elite. Awesome. I try to drag them in here. Uh, mobs and dungeons drag pretty well together or group pretty well together, so... Okay, when the Mama Quidditil does this, go around the arena and kill the Quidditils that spawn. Uh, especially if you're doing the quest, because this is just going to help you get some of the uh, overworld stuff done. And it's a little bit easier with her. Because you're not having to fight other players in the dungeon. So, like, the poison flower you need as well. I think she will respawn some of the mobs, so I'm trying to see if she will for me. Whoop. Uh, if you do get knocked out of her arena, uh, you do have to kind of rejoin it. She can knock you out. Nothing too, too bad. I'm a Quidditil, and we hit level 25. We're now level 26. All right, new gear, and sell all the old junk. Let me go kill these Quidditils real quick. I'm right here for me. Just need like two more, one more. There we go. That one is completed. I'm going to go ahead and do the Poison Cobra quest real quick. Since we're here in the overworld. And that gives about... I mean, it gives a fair bit of XP. So, it's kind of worth it. And we can kind of feed our pet while we're out here. Uh, there's a teleporter over here as well. Good me. Alright, I'm trying to get by you. If you've seen older videos of mine, uh, you will recognize the fact that World Zero has changed a lot. Old joke is, is that World One has changed um, six or seven times now.
All right, after one server crash and more later. I oh, apparently need just one more poison flower. Been heading over to Goblin Camp real quick. These are saying it's super far away, but there's one that spawns right here. Cool, we're done. All right. Now we get to go do the volcano. Go ahead and go do that. And we got level 27 gear. Damage reduction. The damage reduction does exactly what it states. is It's going to reduce your damage by a specific amount. So you're dropping stuff. Scared the Jesus out of myself. Okay, we have finished that mission on up. So, next thing. And return to town alone. Let's go ahead and claim that. We're now at level 29. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Go ahead and equip that armor. We are going to lock this level 27 gear just because it is fairly decent. I do want to keep it. Oh, we got a lot of people coming on in here with some really nice looking pets. Really nice looking pets. Again, these are continuing to grow, which is kind of what we really want. Uh, oh, we can already claim our daily. Cool. We can get a level 29 blue. Like that. Let's go ahead and sell that real quick. Okay. Wait. No, I'm not doing news. Uh, slingshot. Heart of the volcano, I do believe, is next. Now we're almost level 30. Go ahead and start that. Now, there is one particular perk that this weapon has brought up, and it is best food chance. If you get pet best food chance, I would like to welcome you to one of the most useless items in the game. Don't understand why it's here. Most of us have more pet food than we will ever need in our lifetime, but they have since brought it about. No idea why. No idea. A uh, few things I'm still needing are some goblins, but those will be easy. We can actually go and put those all in one place after we get this mission done. There we go. And they're all dead. Cool.
So the last little bit I'm looking for before we leave World 2 is I'm looking for some red goblins. We are getting an absolute monster amount of stuff done. I'm already, uh, 32. So this is one reason I always recommend going and completing these, uh, quests. Because you're gonna get a lot of experience. You're gonna get a lot of drops. And it's, it's really nice. It's super, super nice. Trust me. All right. So we did get quite a few. Uh, the Red Goblin Gatekeepers. Yeah, we. I'm not doing that. Those actually have to be respawned. Those take forever. Oop. Okay. So one thing you can do that I love about World Zero. If you reset while you're out in the overmap, uh, you can actually go back to spawn. So, kind of a nice little tidbit. If you're noticing some lag in the recording, I am, well, or you go to Always Don't. Um, I do apologize for that. That is because uh, my recordings are trying to upload at the same time I am recording actively. So, my computer is very confused as to what's going on right now. Okay. So, we did get a few more items. I got that nice lovely armor that has ultimate recharge that would have been nice but we're not keeping that this says rough skin and poison i'm just gonna go ahead and lock that we will be keeping that for later let's go ahead and sell that sell that up oh, i can't sell that yeah i can there we go all right only took it a minute so this first run through of world zero is going to be a little bit more rough compared to if we were to you know on second and First and second prestiges because we have to build up our base we have to build up our money so that's kind of keep that in mind when you're playing through for the first time that you you are gonna have to contend with that you at max level yet ultimate recharge and resist frost so it's kind of a little bit worthless if your pet gets resist frost that's not a good thing for it just fyiz if you haven't figured that part out now, the next world we're going to is World 3. This one is super, super nice because uh, we don't really actually need to leave the dungeons to complete most of the quests, which is actually kind of really nice. So we're also going to start kind of grinding on World 1 dungeons to kind of help with some XP because we are more likely to get elites, which is what we really want is elites. <laughs> if I do see some of y'all that I am familiar with around the server, just be aware if someone starts calling you nub, uh, it's probably me. I don't know if AU is actually ever going to watch that video, so... If you're in Havoc and know of uh, AOU, just let them know I said hi. Perfect spawning location. We fell through the map. All right. So we have claimed our next world teleporter. Also, I have no level right now, but that's just how the, it's just the world's being weird. There we go. Mountain pass. Let's go.
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do a uh, above up. Roof tower. Because we should be able to do a level 22, which means we're gonna have an increased chance for some elites, which is what I really want. So with this, if you do choose to do this, so you choose go to the Grave Tower dungeon instead of following along the quests, uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna round up the first two rooms. And you're just going to nuke them. What we are looking for more is the elites, though. So that room did not have any elites. So we're actually not... That wasn't a good room. This does work significantly better on the later dungeons. Because they have a higher chance to get elites. So we have two in this room. That's good. And... How many do we have in here? Looks to be about two as well. So there we go. We had those elites pop. Or there's the second one right there. That was 13%. So at this point, what we would do is we would reset. That instantly kills us because this dungeon, we only have one heart in. And then we would simply hit play again. Or you could go to the dungeon tab and do it that way. Just keep in mind, you are not going to be getting gear on these runs. So if you do choose to do this method, keep in mind, you are not going to get any equipment. You can get equipment by returning to the overworld and claiming your quest for like hitting certain levels. However, those are going to be few and far between. So pretty much for my first kind of run through, I am probably going to be completing quests and that is just so I can get some armor and some gear. I didn't save in the beginning like I should have and that is kind of my own fault. I kind of meant to be saving every five levels, but again, I was dumb. So there we go. We did that again. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is actually start working on the other quests to get those done. If I start needing levels, I will come back to that. But yeah. Now, some people are going to think me a little bit um, deranged here, but this is actually one of my favorite dungeons because of how the bosses work. And when I said bosses, I did mean bosses as in the plural tense. Bosses. There is multiple. And you fight them both at the same time and they deal off of each other. And it is a really, like, fun mechanic. Uh, I'm just, It's just my personal preference. I really enjoy it, so... The other reason I would recommend sometimes just going out and doing the world rewards is it is very boring. Like insanely boring to be grinding Grave Tower the whole time. And yeah. And it doesn't help you with side quests. And there are some side quests in the game that will yield you mounts. Um, awards, other things like that. So they do give other items. They do give gear. So you kind of have to deal with the duality of... Do I farm for XP or do I farm for both and try and get gear but not the fastest? So, I will be doing a little bit of both while I do this playthrough. But again, I would recommend for your first time through, at least get all the quests done. And then if you get stuck, go over to Grave Tower and do it. Just so you can start getting gear. You can get the experience of playing against the mobs. Because here's the deal. The other thing that we're going to have to start doing is if I have to grind for any piece of zero gear later on uh, instead because I'm hoping we'll be able to get enough money saved up and three prestiges to at least buy something um, that here's the deal. You're, you're going to have to contend with that. 
So. Now, these are my two favorite bosses in the whole wide world. We have the Alpha and the Beta Raptor. And do not let their names confuse you. They both are equally as powerful. And how they work is they will start healing off of each other as they are adjacent to each other. So if you're doing this dungeon in a group, try and pull them apart. It will stop their healing. However, if you are unable to, like I am unable to right now because I am a big solo with this, uh, you're just going to have to keep kind of pushing through. They eventually will separate and stop doing damage. Or try and just get one or the other to follow you. Sometimes the other one will an aggro. So, or you're just going to have to do what I'm doing, which is just brute forcing these two as much as I can. Without dying. And they're dead. There you go. A little bit more of a difficult boss, but I personally enjoy it, so. So XP is kind of slowing down. I'm going to go ahead and claim these two real quick. So we are now 39. And we're a little over halfway through our session anyways, so kind of figured it was about time. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to finish up some of these overworld quests that are pretty easy to wrap up because we do have to be level 40 in order to fight the next boss. So yeah. Some of these are very rudimentary and easy. So that one apparently is telling me to hit 40. And we can go fight the frost golem. So the, those guys are along the way. Crystal spiders we can do as well. Castle knights I don't think we're going to get to, but yeah. Yeah, look at all the icy goose. Look at all the goose. There's crystal spiders, and there is level 40. All right. Shifted aggro. So what shifted aggro does... It is negative. It's going to pull aggro away from you. It's going to tell the moss. It's going to tell the mobs, don't fight me. I'm cute and fluffy. So that's actually the good thing you want, especially if you are a healer, things like that. I think they just killed the boss. I was running over to get the boss and they just killed them all. They're wooed. They're wooed. Yeah, there's, there's a bunch of high levels over here. That's probably why. Cross golems, I need exactly all of these guys in here. Cross golems, no one likes you. No one likes you. There we go. And we're now level 41. Awesome. We can go ahead and do our next quest. Now, how you get legendaries in this game, there's a couple of ways. You can get them from chest, you can get them from super chest, and you get them from the last dungeon in each zone. As you prestige, this also gets easier to drop. So, yeah. We got an unravel stone so if you do not know what an unravel stone is that is a basically a little bitty rock that when you use it you are able to remove all the upgrades from your weapon and you're like sister why would you do that that sounds like a bad idea well you cannot trade upgraded gear once you have upgraded it it is yours forever 
So in order to allow people to trade, that was what was done is you have to use it on Ravelstone on it. It does cost gold to do, so don't do it unless you have to. Now, I will admit the boss that we are about to go fight is probably one of my favorites as well. I love the dragons. Uh, there is currently four dragons in the game. We have Winterfall, which is who we're about to go fight. We have Igneous. We have Son of Igneous in World 7. Uh, Igneous is the Tower 1 boss. So he's been in the game probably the longest other than Winterfall. And the last one is our newest boss for World 9, who is an absolute monster. I actually don't know his name. need to know his name. Probably what I should do. I am stuck. Yeah. I, I love all four of the dragons in here, and the raptor duo is probably some of my favorite bosses. Uh, then that's just kind of a personal preference. Uh, boss I hate the most is Zeus. If you don't know who Zeus is, Zeus is the World uh, 8 or Tower 3 boss. Um, absolute just nightmare to fight. Absolute nightmare to fight. Like, I know, no. no. Uh, let's go ahead and level up our pet before we go in this final area. So it can either be a healing pet or a damage pet. I'm not really one or the other at the moment because it will be replaced once we hit world four. Uh, we got a healing pet. Nice. Um, and it's horrible. We got resist frost, resist burn, and ultimate charge. Okay. Well, we'll still keep him. He's still a good boy. Big tip, when he hits the air like that, move away. You also need to look for whatever wall is nearby. You should be able to go through it. You need to stand in the circle and you need to wait till he comes back down. He's going to be up there for a while. I want to comment my ultimate hit him as I died and it did not register. That's not nice. Game. There we go. And he is defeated. And we got our third achievement. Go ahead and grab that. We are almost level 44. Let's go. Now, in order to go to the next zone, I think we may have to be 45. I think they level locked it at 45. Yep, 45. Okay, so that just means we go to dungeons, we go to grave tower, and can't do the 44 one just yet, but we can do this one, one level, and then we'll do the 44. Okay, there is no other guys in this dungeon that I'm actually kind of looking at. Alright, let's go ahead and go to the 44.
By the way, that was like half my level from those two. Just FYI, Z. At least another two in here. Go round up. You may be noticing a trend here, guys. Um, these guys are a little bit difficult to bring down. There we go. So, nice. I am actually just going to go ahead and reset. I'm going to go back to lobby and we're going to go to zone four. Four. Already at four, jeez. Uh, the reason I want to go to zone 4 is I want to get uh, a um, the quest done to grab an egg from there. Because that is where we're going to be picking up our pet that we will be using for the, probably the rest of the playthrough. Hopefully. Hopefully I can get lucky and get one. Alright. So we do have some new armor. Let's go ahead and put that on. Uh, we're not going to keep the level 34 armor. Uh, we did get a level 43 staff. That one is slightly better, but I do want to keep that. Uh, let's go ahead and lock that. Um, while we are walking, let me go ahead and put on these other... Actually, I don't need these other eggs. I want eggs from here. From our next zone we're about to go into. Alright, zone 40... And we got a level 46 staff. Let's go. Resist frost, though. That's kind of disappointing. Okay. Okay. Uh, Dark Scorpions, or we could do to feed Dark Scorpions, or just a thought here. Um, let's go ahead and do uh, a dungeon. Because, <laughs> yeah, we only have like uh, 20 ish minutes left. Wow, I'm surprised. We are near the end of our lovely plateau. My computer is like struggling to upload these, uh, online it's because i've got two things running max graphics at the moment so it's like freaking out plus i'm recording plus i'm trying to upload stuff yeah my computer is not happy right now it is slightly on fire okay then i'll just go ahead and unlock major light uh 60 is for spiritual show they made that so easy Y'all don't understand how long it took us to get, like, some of these higher-end classes, and they're just giving it away right now. It's disgusting. I understand why they did it, but still. Grumble. Ooh, we got an elite, and I'll take that. Also, by doing the dungeons, it lets me get these quests done, so we're... I don't want to keep grinding repeatedly these dungeons, because then it kind of loses the, um... We kind of lose the extra, but getting all this extra experience is really nice. There we go. Almost done with dark scorpions. Happy cactuses were halfway through. Like. That is stupid easy. Well, there's our first one. Also, don't do what sister's doing and run through the poison like a dummy. Now, with this boss, just FYI, see, you can drag him over here to this poison vent. And he will be affected by the poison. So, I would recommend you do that. Because it will help the fight go faster.
And this is kind of one of those speed is key moments. I would recommend it. Uh, level 48 staff. Yeah. I'll go ahead and lock that one. And there's an elite. So you do get credit for these mobs. I would recommend utilizing the extra ads that you get. Because, uh, yeah, I like free experience. Who doesn't like free experience? I don't know someone who's going to openly come here and be like, I don't like XP. You crazy person. Okay, so once you have a feral egg, I'm going to let you know right now, that needs to be your number one priority to hatch. Um, because that's going to get you a black butterfly or a white butterfly. And so early on at the stage that we're at, that is like one of the best pets to get. So I would highly recommend taking the time to going and hatching this guy out. I don't know what I got. I got a butterfly. Okay, so I can either get one or the other. Um, horrible names, but whatever. I don't know if we need green scarabs. I was going over to fight the snakes. They were just in the way. Okay. And feeding my pet. Trying to get this guy to level up. That's what I really, really want, is him to level up. I don't know if we need him. We're still going to kill him, though. So close to leveling up again. So, so close. Now, the teleporters on this map are kind of all over the place. So, I'm not going to be, like, covering all of them. Because, yeah, no. No. <laughs> Alright. I don't think there's any more down there. Whee! Oh, they're all falling down to where the happy cactuses are. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get that back. Oh, well. Awesome. We're now level 50, so we can go ahead and claim that. Claim two things, it seems. Uh, level 50 armor and a level 50 whip and sell both of these we don't need them as you can see we've been getting quite quite a few little bits of money uh that's kind of the goal we were wanting to get cash built up i'm not gonna really be buying anything until we you know hit max level that's, there's no real reason to quite frankly all right cool green scarabs are done as well so, I don't need this one. That's poop. Alright, what's our next quest? Red Scarabs. Uh, Red Scarabs, I think we can find any Yin Yins. But we also have another dungeon unlocked. I kind of want to go do that. The Bowels of the Mine. Awesome! We got best case scenario. Oh my god, it's not bad. 
It's ultimate recharge 15, which is a max percent. We get bonus gold 9% resist poison. That's not bad. That's, I'm jealous. I'm mad now. <laughs> I'm going to let y'all know the one I have on my main account um, was part of a video where I spent a million gold hatching. Um, yeah, no, that was, that was a later, that was a later one. That wasn't even like one of the early on ones. I am low-key mad about that. <laughs> uh, of course, all the count luck. This alt's been insane with my luck because I've used it for other things and I'm just... So we're now set for the rest of the game on pets. Just FYI, Z. What did I miss? I missed something somewhere. Where are you? Okay. I've never had this happen in this dungeon. Where is it? I don't even know where it is. Something spawn in the wall? Uh, okay. Well, what we're gonna do for... I got like seven minutes. So I can do a few of these. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. Uh, I can't do the 65. I can do the 44, though. We're gonna do a few runs of these for our last, like, seven-ish minutes. Alrighty, so we are kind of nearing the end of our time. I'm gonna go ahead and call it, uh, just because it's, I mean, I don't have enough time to do another dungeon. I want to do our little outro. So, um, please let me know in the comment section down below if you're enjoying this. Uh, this, there's not gonna be that many speedy up bits in this, so this video is gonna be a little bit longer than I like. So, but the next time we will have a lot of speedy up bits. So, we are level, God, what is that? We're 53 in an hour, two hours, two and a half hours, which is not bad for free to play during an event and solo. I'm grinding solo because it's better to grind in a group. Not bad at all. So let's help you like this video um, and I will see you all next time and we'll keep going.